Welcome to Lesson 3C of ATC Pro. This lesson will explain the COM panel window. When you start a controlling session, you will see a gray box with rows of blue buttons in the lower right corner of the screen. This is the COM panel window. It contains rows of buttons for each of the frequencies. Each of these rows represents a controller's frequency. These first two are the ones for the departure and arrival controllers, which are the positions available at the Albuquerque facility we are controlling. Right now you can see these little green lights. If you click on and off the button labeled RX cell, it enables receiving communications on that channel. When it's off, you don't receive. So let's make sure they're both switched on. With the TX cell on it means you can transmit on that frequency. When you are controlling on these frequencies, you want to make sure they're both lit up. The next one down is the tower frequency, so for now let's leave that turned off because it's not one of the positions we can control and you can't select it for transmitting, just receiving. These other frequencies are center frequencies. We will leave those off for now. If you're interested in listening to the communications that are happening on those frequencies, you can switch them on. If you click on these arrow buttons, you will see the next or previous pages of frequencies. That's all we need to know about this control panel for now. You will notice when we start actually communicating with the aircraft, you'll see these lights turn on when the aircraft is communicating with us and us to them. To close the window panel, click the X in the upper right corner. To open it again, click the icon on the panel here. Notice when you click on the COM panel window, the compass lines in the main radar scope turn red. This means the COM panel has focus in the program. Before you can enter commands on the main radar screen, you will need to click somewhere on the scope and the compass lines will turn white, indicating the scope now has focus. That's all for now on the COM panel window. The next lesson, 3D, will describe the communications history window.